Welcome, and we are here starting the most difficult Nuzlocke I have ever attempted. It is a new play on what we've normally done here on the channel, uh, where I usually run Iron Mons, um, Iron Mon Nuzlocke's, and typical run-of-the-mill stuff. But we are doing a new playthrough here, where we are adding a much more difficult variety. This is going to be... Everything is 20% higher level. Every trainer, their Pokemon have held items. Sensible items. So Pokemon like Raikou might have a choice specs. So it does a ton of damage. It might have a berry that makes it resist ground attacks. Or it might have an air balloon. So it's immune to ground attacks. You know, all those options are available to every single trainer in the game. Uh, I also am implementing a level cap. So I cannot over level beyond the ace of each gym leader. I have all the levels written down. And I'll keep, you know, referring to that over time throughout the playthrough. Uh, also, it, I'm going to be playing on set mode, so I don't get the switch priority whenever they send out a Pokemon. And lastly, there will be no healing in battle. So it's going to be a much, much more difficult playthrough. But this one is going to be regular Nuzlocke, not an Ironmon. So I will be catching every single encounter I go for. Um, none of it will be... Uh, it's not going to be, you know, if I catch something, it has to join the team and take something off. So... Make sure you get your nicknames ready. Get your nicknames ready because we are going to be catching a lot of Pokemon. Um, a heads up. One of my least favorite things about Nuzlocke is not being able to catch a Pokemon. You know, there's some Pokemon who have wicked high catch rates. And, you know, if you like, say you get a legend right away off the bat, you know, it's impossible to catch them with the Pokeballs you have. And I feel like sometimes it ruins runs if you start trying to catch starters and stuff that have high catch rates. So every Pokemon is a guaranteed catch. So the whole encounter is just me seeing what I'm getting. I'm going to catch it. Not going to be any issues with that. But as you guys know, it's not our first rodeo. This is the starter selection video. So I'm putting this video up. It's going up on Friday morning. I'm going to leave it up over the whole weekend. You guys vote for which starter you want and leave nicknames for the starter and for the rest of the game because I'm going to be catching a lot of Pokemon. And I need nickname suggestions. I always say every single video that you guys watch of this, if you guys keep up with it as it's going live, um, always put your nicknames down because... Oh, always put your nicknames down. Because you never know when I'm going to need them. And the comments help with the algorithm and all that. You can already see the Pokemon here. This is Bane's favorite. And this is my favorite. Togekiss. Scrafty. And Lombre. These are the three Pokemon available. You guys leave comments. Let me know who you want and tell me what nicknames you want. I have a I don't know which of these two is gonna win. This is I know a lot of people here on Facebook and YouTube. They watch Bane Mode as well. And apparently Scrafty's is like least favorite, I think. And if you guys watch me, you know how much I hate Togekiss. Um I can't imagine Lombre wins, but we'll see. You never know. But thank you guys for coming through. Leave a nickname and comment down below. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. Another difficulty thing, Pokemon will have better move sets. One thing I forgot to add. So not only will they have held items, they'll also have better move sets. Not Pokemon I catch, only trainers Pokemon. So if I am battling someone with a Togekiss, as much as its move set's already broken, it's gonna make sure it has, you know, flying coverage. It might have roost. It might have, you know, it'll have just better coverage moves. Um, if you fight, say, a Ludicolo, Ludicolo doesn't learn any moves on level up because the stone evolution most stone evolutions don't learn any moves or they might learn one so some pokemon just are locked in with pretty bad move sets uh ludicolo for instance i think he gets nature power and like astonish and like something else that's like absorb or mega drain so he'll have probably hydro pump giga drain and you know just much better moves so that's going to make it much more difficult i don't know if we'll be playing this game multiple times until we beat it if that's going to be the YouTube series or if it's going to be one and done, see how far I get. And then we try to do another game, but I'm excited to try something new with you guys. Leaving me also some suggestions that we could call this, you know, I don't know if I call it a breezy lock. I feel like that's kind of silly, but that's what a lot of people do. Uh, but give me uh, suggestions of what we could call this playthrough. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Peace out.